Good morning, everybody. Welcome back from so I'm going to Scott Selections here for Saturday, May 6th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in basketball. The Celtics minus one and a half and minus 110 on Fox bet. Line closed at two and a half. Didn't really matter. Boston won the game by 12. Boston led for the majority of the game. There were a couple of moments where Philly ended up making the game close. I believe they cut it to four with a couple minutes to go. But then every time Philly did, Boston had an answer, and they eventually won the game by 12. Tatum played well. Brown played pretty well. Uh, you're looking at Horford, who woke up from three. But the real story for Philly was the fact that nobody showed up for the game besides Embiid. Embiid had 30. Harden went three for 14 again. And Maxi went four for 16 yeah, the supporting cast for Philly is really not great, and you saw Boston take advantage of it as they won the game. It's a nice win for us and for the winner here on a Saturday. And for today's play the day, before I get into it, do want to have a brief announcement. Since it is a pretty big day in sports, there is the Kentucky Derby taking place at horse racing. We do have a couple of betting deals for you. So we have a deal with Amwager, and Amwager is going to give you a 100% first deposit match bonus of up to $150. And we also have a deal with Twinspires. Twinspires is offering a $400 sign-up bonus for new online betting accounts. Create your new online wagering account by using the promo code TWIN400 and start earning your $400 bonus right away. But anyway, time to get into the actual play. Going to transition over to hockey on Saturday. We're going to look at game two in the Oilers and Golden Knights series, taking place at around 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, we're going to take the total in this one. We're going to take the over, six and a half goals at minus 135 on DraftKings. Time of recording of 2 a.m. Eastern time. Covering is why we're going to take the over in this game. First reason, going through the actual meetings this season, whether it was the playoffs or in the regular season, there were a lot of goals in all of them because each of the five meetings this season had at least seven goals. And we even saw 10 goals in game one, Two separate periods with five goals. So you can definitely tell these teams have a lot of firepower and the defense has been a little bit hit or miss. I think you might see some fireworks once again on a Saturday night. But to go through the actual scoring numbers for both teams in the playoffs, these are actually the two best teams offensively in the playoffs so far as Vegas is averaging 4.17 goals per playoff game, which ranks first. Edmonton is averaging 4.14 goals per playoff game, which ranks second. So you have the two best offenses in the playoffs going at it based on the stats. And I think, once again, you should see a lot of goals in this matchup. Now, Vegas has been very consistent with their scoring as well. Not many insane outliers in there, as Vegas has scored at least four goals in each of their last five games. You know, Edmonton has been involved in a lot of high-scoring games lately, whether involved game one against Vegas or involved the King series, because each of Edmonton's last four games have had at least nine goals. So defensively, they've been a mess. Skinner has really not been good in net. And once again, you, when you have Dreisaitl, who scored four goals in game one, you have the uh, few, uh, the soon-to-be MVP once again, Connor McDavid, who's the best player in the league. You have a lot of weapons on both sides with Eichel, et cetera, for Vegas. I see a lot of opportunities for goals, and I think that both goalies, with uh, Brassois not being great either recently, you're going to see them struggle, not to mention the fact that you might get an empty net draw or two because it is the playoffs, and we have seen some teams pull the goalie down three. And also, I've mentioned this before, since this is an even number total at six and a half, that does mean that if each team gets to three, you have an automatic win because it's going to go to overtime. And I definitely can see each team scoring three goals in this game. But Edmonton defensively has been a mess in particular, as the Oilers have allowed at least three goals in each of their first seven playoff games. So the point is, I'm expecting Vegas to probably score three or four. Edmonton, once again, should probably score three or four, and the game goes over. Now, there is a chance that one team maybe no-shows the game offensively. Maybe you end up seeing one team score two. It's not that far-fetched to expect one team to score six in this game. We saw Vegas score six in game one, for example. But the point is, both goalies have been pretty hit or miss. Skinner has been pretty underwhelming. And with the offensive firepower, and once again, each of the first five meetings this season between these teams having seven-plus goals, this number feels a bit short. There are a couple of sevens out there, but I'm going to take the juice six and a half instead. So the play that I once again here for Saturday, May 6th, is going to be on the Oilers and Golden Knights over six and a half goals in game two at minus 135 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.